Okay, party people in the house, you're about to witness something you've never witnessed before. So listen close, um, so you all don't miss. As we go a little something like this. Hit it! There is no competition. We are the best, yeah. There is no competition. I started off when, when I was younger, I started off doing karate. So I always had a, like a, always liked like fighting and, and the idea of just fighting and stuff when I was like at school and just where I lived in this place called Carton Drive and it wasn't the, it was just a council house in the state and, and I was always just fighting and stuff with just the other people in the, in the street and, and this kind of thing and and then I was just always like into fighting, I loved I love just having a scrap in the street. And then uh, I got into like karate for like a, a little bit. My uncle was uh, my karate coach. And then MMA kind of became like a, just like a local kind of phase, do you know what I mean? And, and juicy and stuff. And my, my uncle was my, was my karate coach. Because uh, I'd stopped karate then for like maybe three, four years and never done nothing, to be honest. It was just doing nothing pretty much <laughs> and then uh, he had an MMA fight and got into it and I was like oh what's this looks pretty cool do you know what I mean just going in having a fight in a, in a cage and then uh, I li literally didn't know nothing about UFC or nothing like this or I wasn't a fan of UFC or do you ever people like say oh, I was a fan of UFC and then I started MMA well I wasn't I just seen this little local show people having a knock and I was like oh, that looks fucking lethal I want to jump in and do that so then I just uh, went and I had my first class and uh, it was like a jiu-jitsu kind of class and I just fell in love with it. It was like, I was like, this is it. Because when I was doing karate, I was never satisfied with it. It was like, you can't hit him too hard. You can't you touch him and it's a point you, you, you've stopped. But I understand the idea of karate noise. Do you know what I mean? A one shot's a kill. Do you know what I mean? That's the way, the way the karate points is. And, and that's very useful in MMA. But... For me, I wanted to literally go in and finish someone off. Do you know what I mean? That's what, that's what I was trying to do, and that's what what I was into. But and then I just rose from there. Then I, w I started them when I was uh, I started then the local club when I was uh, 12 years old. I started on my 12th birthday, and then I was training then, and I got to like 13. Uh, I just was like, I want to fight. Do you know what I mean? I was like, this is this is what I do. I was better than all the. There was like I was only 13, but I was better than all the 15, 16, 17 year olds that were training. I was stronger than them. I was better. I was, and I I was beating them in the spars and and stuff like this. And then I was like, I want to fight. You know what I mean? And get me six, someone 16, 17 year old, and I'll go in and fight and beat them. So then I was 13, and the, the show was in my hometown, and I went in and had my first fight against someone who was like 15, 16 as well. So I was pretty young for him as well, never mind me when I'd been 13 and I didn't win. And then <clears throat> that was my second fight then was the one that kind of like, that was the one that made the difference for me. It was, uh, I was 13 and I, I fought a guy who was 21. So it is 21 years old and and I went out and my coach, John Kavanaugh, was judging the show. And the promoter of the show came up to him and was like, oh, well, you see, this one is a, uh, the guy's only 13 and is fighting this guy at 21, but he's highly tipped to like beat the guy. And John was like, "This is going to ruin the MMA and, and the whole world." You know what I mean? This is this is going to ruin the whole thing. I'm not judging it because John was the judge of the show. He's all, "I'm not. I'm stepping back out of this one. I'm having nothing to do with." So he just watched it, and then I went in and I beat the guy. Then and by decision, and I got speaking to John, and that's how I got to meet him. But then John just was like. I just kept training where where I was training and and uh, John then was like saying like yeah, come down and train anytime because they were the best they were the best you know locally and they were the best club that there was so he's like you're welcome down to my gym anytime you want to train or just for extra training there was nothing you know, that was it just for a bit of extra training I used to travel down like maybe like once a month or something like this and then the kind of the club that I was at kind of like stopped. So I was just kind of roaming around a little bit and I was like school and I was starting to get 14, 15 years old. 
and like doing exams and stuff at schools starting to come in and and then I was like once a week then I would have gotten the bus to Dublin and like went to Dublin and it, every day in the bus it was four hours on the bus and then I would have, wouldn't have got home till like f like two in the morning and stuff and then I'd get up before school went training before school went to school went training after school and then it started to come up then I was going to Dublin like twice a week sometimes my father would have drove me to Dublin to save me from getting the bus and do you know what I mean and then one day then I was at, I hit a school, I hit up in a school, the people there were just so negative, the teachers were negative, they were do it this way or no way kind of thing and that's just, that wasn't me, do you know what I mean, I was, I was always trying to figure out the best way, do you know what I mean, but the teachers, you had to do it this way, I was like why not try and figure out the best way to do stuff, do you know what I mean, and that was always kind of my idea about things and the teachers were, were always knocked me for that and Obviously, I hated just doing work in school, and I wasn't, do you know what I mean? I wasn't no A star people or anything. I wasn't the best behaved people or anything. But when I got to like 14 or 15, I was like, I just love fighting and, and training. And I was like, I want to do this, do you know what I mean? And this is before Connor or anyone got like signed to the UFC or, or Gunny or anything. And I was like, this is this is what I want to do. I want, I want, I want to just train. And it wasn't because. I want to fight, you No, know, I want to get to the UFC or I want to become rich and famous or I just wanted it because I love being in the gym every day training and this is just what I love to do, do you know what I mean? So I was like, why do I have to, why do I have to be in school doing something I hate every day? Why can't I not just train every day and, and love what I'm doing, do you know what I mean? And then one day I went to school and it was like a half day in school and the teacher was like giving out to me about something and then I was like, like I, I would never, I wouldn't be cheeky back to them, but I was just like, here, I'm not sitting in here listening to that. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I, I can be away training, so I was like, here, listen, I'm done. I said, like, I mean, I'm not being cheeky, but I'm leaving. Like I'm going now. And I said to all my friends, like I'm done here. I'm not coming back. And I got up and walked out of class, and landed back home. And my man, they were like, what, what are you doing back from school? Do you know what I mean? It's only twelve o'clock or whatever. And I was like, I'm done. I was like, I can't do it. No, whatever. I'm, I'm just going to train and. And this is as all I want to just train, and as all I don't want to do nothing else. Is I want to just put my focus in, and like I'll give it everything I got. And and then John says I can live with him. He let me live with him for a charge. Let me train with him for a charge. Everything, and and he coached me. And I guess that was it. And then I just here I am. I just kept working and kept training, kept having fun, and just doing what I do. That's the way I see it. Just doing what I'm doing. Yeah, the journey. The journey since I've been young is always I'm going to the top. Do you know what I mean? That that's not changed. Nothing is nothing has ever changed. But I've noticed when I was younger, I've always I've always been in a rush to do stuff. Do you know what I mean? I've always been in a rush to get to the next place, to get there. Do you know what I mean? And I think with this one, I've is all I'm just taking it in now for what it is now. And I think that's why I'm just so confident and so prepared and so ready is because I'm just looking at it every day I go into the gym it's it's now this training session is all that matters. Nothing else matters. Do you know what I mean? This this is what matters now. I'm doing this interview now with you, this now this is all that matters, do you know what I mean? Nothing else matters. And when I step in there on December sixteenth, winning is all that matters. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just focused on me, focused on training, focusing on what I'm doing at that time and not rushing to get to the next step. But the goal for me is I'm going to be the greatest in the world. And that is always in the back. But before, like, it was always like rushing to the next fight, rushing to the next one. Where now I'm just like, nah, let's, let's just focus on the now. And I feel like I've never felt better just focusing on now, focusing on me and focusing on winning.